if you can hear a buzzing in the background, it's uh, my fan because I'm just doing a painting. I'm trying to do it for Dom's dad in time to take to him to Tintagel. Um, he's asked for a dragon, which is very exciting because I've never done that before, but also a bit daunting because they can be tricky. So um, I've got up a like step by step uh, guide on YouTube. So the channel is called Color by Felix with a KS at the end. <coughs> Sorry. The um, channel seems to be really good. Like I'm 20 minutes into the video and so far I'm pretty happy with what I've done. Um, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out. At the moment it's looking good, but we all know like these things can turn really quickly my hands are like all painty which is quite nice because it's been a while since i've painted um i think before we went to that paint party i don't think i'd painted in a like a year maybe over a year so yeah it's really nice to get back into it i'm just a bit worried about painting the actual dragon but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so at the moment this is the canvas this is my fan, I'm trying to dry it quickly so I can move on to the next part. Um, so this is just the sky, this is what his looks like, and this is what mine looks like. So obviously mine's like a lot more green, and um, like it's a lot more swirly, because the brush I'm using is giving off these kind of like spiky parts, but I kind of like that because it reminds me a bit of the northern lights. Um, so hopefully it will look good. I think it might be oh yeah it's touch dry so I'll carry on with the video oh his looks a lot better than mine <laughs> wish me luck quarter to midnight I've been working on this painting since about half seven I'm gonna have to leave it there for the night um I had been hoping that I could just get it all done tonight because when I went to the paint party I did the whole thing but I'm just so tired the tutorial was like two hours and it's in real time and mine just is not like I'm a bit of a perfectionist I probably need to start again and just throw away my ideas of like what I want it to look like um it doesn't look bad like I know that Dom's gonna be like oh my god it's amazing because he just says that about everything I do <laughs> but like personally I just feel like it looks like a kid's painting so I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow after work I can come home and I can fix it just by adding in a few different colours and things like that I think the main issue with my painting it in comparison to the tutorial is like mine I didn't mix the colours as well as he did so he's got a lovely kind of like nice green kind of colour going on and mine is not so much and like the proportions are just a bit off because his is kind of like a square kind of canvas I think um, or like more square than mine and obviously a lot larger um, I'm not like unhappy with mine but when you're comparing it to like someone who obviously does art probably for a living it doesn't look that great but I'll give you a sneak peek now, we'll see if I can fix it tomorrow, if not I'll have to do a new one. So this is his one, I've just paused it here because this is about where I've got up to. It's got a really nice like fade, you can really see the depth in it. This is just the base coat for the dragon at the moment so I've still got uh oh my gosh I've got an hour left to go. An hour! What? Anyway, this is his one. This is my one. Hmm. To me, it just looks like a kid's painting. Like, it is wet. See, this is the issue. Like, I'm trying to do the belly. And it's all, like, it's just stripping the paint away because it's so wet. I just need to let it dry. 
I'm really happy with the sky. I think the sky looks nice. When you put them side by side, like, mine is just a crap version of that. <laughs> um, and as you can see, like, I did get the proportions wrong. So my dragon has to be smaller. But then because he's smaller, I've kind of, I haven't made him as grand as it should look. It doesn't look bad, like, I am seeming maybe a little ungrateful or, I don't know, a little bit, like, rude. But I just, you know, it's my own work, so I'm allowed to rip it to shreds. And basically, this, it looks like a, like, a baby dragon. And it's not, it's meant to be, like, an awesome, awesome, cool dragon. Mm -mm, this is a baby dragon with a little bit too much purge on the bottom. Oh, I don't know, but I don't know. It could be worse, I suppose. So it's Sunday evening. My room is a mess. Sorry, I'm not actually a slob. Well, not most of the time, anyway. I've been at work all day, and I've been painting for probably about an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Oh, I think I fixed the photo. The photo, the picture. Um, in what I showed you last night, I realised that it was, like, really bad lighting, so it was just the main light, because it was so late. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I've done. So this is it so far. I'm actually pretty pleased. The dragon still looks very basic. Um, but it's not too far. I mean, okay, no, that is very far off. But, like... <laughs> The thing is, when people love you, they kind of just think whatever you do is fantastic. So, I'm sure that, you know, Dom's dad will love it and Dom will like it. But, I don't know, he could have something better on his wall. He could probably buy a painting for not much money that is a lot better than this. <laughs> so, I'm hoping to add some more, like, yellowy green around here just to actually bring out some colours, because if you look there, it, his is really green. Why is mine not green? Mine's more like grey. And then, okay, I did do all the mountings a kind of brownie colour. Um, but overall, I think, now that I'm adding actually actual texture to the dragon he's starting to look a bit better i've also like elongated his face um so yeah i'm feeling a lot better about it now okay so supposedly it's done and i hate it yay i had a shower to like give it a chance to dry a bit and then I added on some details and oh my god, it's crap. Like, it's so bad. I'm just going to shove it up there. I've got another canvas and I'm going to have another go doing a dragon. <sighs> Why do people ask for things? Like, it's not that simple. Wickerman again. There's still <laughs> we're um 
we're going on Wicker Man again because it was like a 60 minute queue yesterday so it's the longest one we queued for it's such a long line um, it's really worth it there's an amazing part right at the beginning which I'm not going to spoil but there's a great story behind this um, so yeah it's like 9.30 now the ride has literally just opened I don't even think they've had one go yet so we're just walking around hopefully we'll be on and off before the park officially opens so see you in a bit <laughs> so we've got quite a few rides done I think it's about half 11 12 o'clock and we've already been on Wicker Man 13 and Rita but I had one of the like refillable cups and it spilt all over my top um, so like the cup was cracked and basically like my top is soaked in coke um, so I was kind of like oh you know that's really bad like but I'm just gonna have to stink of coke all day Ooh. just dropped my pin badge very good good start I went and I switched my um, bottle just said like you know it's leaking I need a new one and to be honest, I was a bit worried that they wouldn't switch that. But when I went, they said I should go to customer services and they taught me out with a new t-shirt because <laughs> it's soaked, like I'm so sticky and I'm really, really afraid of wasps and they keep on kind of getting near me because I stink of syrup. And they gave me, I had to wait in line for like half an hour, but that's fine. That's just the way it is sometimes. And then um, they gave me 20 pounds to spend in the park. So the t-shirt only cost 15 pounds. So then I got two shot glasses, one for Beck, um, who loves 13, and one for Dom. His favorite ride is Wicker Man, but they didn't have any shot glasses for Wicker Man. So I got him one for Smiler. And then I also got Beck a little pin badge for 13. So I was actually really happy with like how they responded. I mean, things break, you know, like, yeah, it was their fault, but I'm just really happy. Like I didn't expect them to reimburse me. Basically, um, like Dom rang me. Basically they reimbursed me 20 pounds, which is good because that's the price of the cup. And then I could also buy a t-shirt with that. So I got a 13 t-shirt, which I wouldn't normally get a t-shirt honestly because I don't wear that type of stuff but it'll be a nice pyjama um, and I'm so happy I don't have to wear this all day sorry I'm in the toilet so happy I don't have to wear this all day and then I got some cute little shot glasses and a nice pen badge so good start <laughs> so I've changed into the t-shirt it's just like that I wouldn't normally wear this but it looks I kind of like it so yay going on jewel again I love jewel even though it scares me I was literally screaming last time I don't even know why because I've been on it before but I've actually become more scared since the last time we were here so <laughs> video and camera equipment is forbidden inside this attraction. I'm not inside yet though, am I? I'm not inside! <laughs> I've eaten so much pizza and pasta! Really cool aquarium. 